Hello, and welcome to this episode of IDIS Technology Bytes. In this tutorial, we will review the IDIS Direct IP Network Video Recorder interface. After registration of one or more cameras, the live view will display the camera video in various layouts. These are selected by moving the mouse pointer to reveal the menu bar at the top of the screen. User login control is available on the left. This control is also available by right-clicking to obtain the pop-up menu. The available layouts will vary based on NVR capability. This example features our DR6216PS Direct IP NVR, so the maximum camera layout is a 4x4 grid, a total of 16 cameras. Layout groups will cycle cameras based on the starting layout. For example, when starting with a 2x2 layout, the group buttons will cycle the camera windows in groups of four. The display menu allows you to engage full screen mode and turn the camera OSD on or off. The freeze button will freeze motion on all displayed cameras and a status indicator is displayed in the status bar. The alarm button will reset all direct IP NVR alarm outputs and silence the audible alarm if it is active. The panic button will start recording all connected cameras in panic recording profile, ignoring any schedules. A panic indicator is displayed on the camera OSD. The sequence button will cycle all registered cameras within the existing layout. A status indicator is displayed in the status bar. The camera button displays a list of the cameras for quick, full-screen display. The search button enters the playback mode for searching and playback of recorded video. The search mode is the subject of another tutorial. The Setup button is used for device configuration and several other tutorials cover all the configuration options available. The Wizard button offers step-by-step -step assistance to configure basic settings of the NVR. Right-clicking on any camera window presents further camera-specific options. If the camera is a PTZ model, the PTZ option will activate the on-screen controls indicated by the flashing P symbol on the OSD. Right-clicking again on the camera window presents further options for starting and stopping the various PTZ automatic functions. Exit the PTZ mode to resume NVR functions. The zoom function is available for any camera and it is a digital zoom. This function will engage the full screen mode and magnify the image. Left click in the zoomed image to reveal a panning window. This allows control of the zoom location. Use the mouse wheel to control the zoom level.
right clicking will present a list of zoom factor options or the exit zoom button. Color control allows setting brightness, contrast, and hue for a camera display. The information option provides product version, IP and MAC addresses, resolution, as well as the streaming protocol of the selected camera. Edit group allows changes to be made to the camera groups. First, switch to the desired group before engaging this option. The camera registration option is used for discovering additional cameras to be added to the system. This subject is covered by a dedicated tutorial. Well, that covers the basics of the Direct IP NVR interface. Thank you for watching and please see our other tutorials for more information on IDAS products.